This morning, we're taking an inside look, a closer look at Austell USA, located right here in Mobile. Right now, there are two ships being built for the U.S. Navy by the company. The first is the LCS. The other, as we take a closer look, is a joint high-speed vessel, or a JHSV. This is the type of vessel the USNS Trenton is being christened Saturday. Right now, we're checking in with our gentlemen this morning, my co-anchor, Darwin Singleton, and our Stephen Quinn. Live this morning, we're learning more about the construction of these ships, but we need you both to help us do that. Good morning and happy Friday. Good morning, Kelly. Stephen here with me. He's going to be helping me do show and tell before we go into this first segment. We're talking about how they build these ships. Behind me is a USNS Trenton. It will be christened tomorrow right here in Mobile, the, last, the latest uh, uh, joint high-speed vessel to be built here at Austell. We're going to take you inside the MMF. What is the MMF? It's a modular manufacturing facility, and that is where they make modules. They make pieces of the ship. And as they make them, they get bigger. I'm using Legos here to explain. You need oh, a bigger module. I though. need another module. This is another module here. And then they put them together. See how it works? They built, well, they do it better than we do. But they go together kind of like this. But you have to build the pieces first. And we're going to show you where they do that, called the MMF. We're going inside Austin right now. Hello, I'm Craig Percivali, president of Austin USA. And we're standing in the module manufacturing facility, or we call it the MMF. And this is where ships start getting constructed here at Austin USA. Uh, this is the beginning of the line, where we take our uh, raw material and we cut it on uh, router machines. And then we start putting the pieces together uh, into sub-assemblies that moves down the main manufacturing line to build pieces of the ship that will eventually be put together to make the ships themselves. We also have prefabricated workstations that actually build smaller pieces of the ship that will actually be used in the construction process of the larger modules, which will eventually be put together to make the ships in the final assembly base. As we continue to go down, things get bigger and bigger, outfitting gets more and more, and eventually we'll get to the end where the modules will be done and they'll be sent to the assembly bay to be erected together to make the ship. It's really fun to watch because what you're doing is you're seeing raw material come into this building and you see it take shape into actual larger pieces of ships that will eventually make the full ship which will eventually be launched and go to sea and everything else. So to me, it's, there's nothing more rewarding than seeing how a ship comes to life or have, how, how a ship takes shape and then comes to life in a shipyard. So once again, these are the modules. What happens next? They go to another facility here at Austell, which has the facility where they put them together to make the ship come together. We're going to take you there in our next half hour. And Stephen, you're going to be taking a look at one of the employees. That's right. Obviously, it takes a lot of people to get these modules built, put together, and out onto the ocean serving our Navy. We're going to show you an inside look at what the life is like for those employees. We're really excited to tell that story. As we take you inside Austell, Austell, USA, right here across the Mobile River in Mobile. It's coming up. You know, I've never in the history of ever Darwin or, or Stephen ever seen Legos used in that fashion, but now we get a better understanding. Yeah. It makes sense. It all comes together. I can't wait to see what they build next. Okay, we'll see you in about a half hour. Yeah, we like to play. <laughs>